Well, folks, isn't that just a beautiful sight here? In Monbazul, uh, I have a half-clean garage. There is still some clutter. Uh, I've been working hard on getting this thing uh, <laughs> unmessy. Uh, by the way, the truck, I, I need to fix this. This is an issue. Yep, that's when uh, Komodo decided to screw around for an episode. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the rusty parts out of here. So I've got plans here today. We're going to finish the build. Uh, a lot of people are probably like, well, Komodo, I thought you finished this. Well, we're missing paint. I think I am going to put in a maybe the small piece of the grill, like right here. But I'm going to leave everything else open. Uh, and we're not going to put a hood on it. I don't think I'm going to put fenders on it. Uh, a lot of people were, like, confused that I didn't put a bumper on this. Because I do agree, it kind of looks like a weird box in the back. So I think we'll probably use something lightweight. We're going to go to the store here in a second. Uh, I actually had some window tint. And I figured, let's go ahead and tint the windows on this. Do I have enough for all of it? Uh, I would think so. There we go. Dude, that's actually kind of nice. But yeah, I do feel like the car needs color. Uh, I'm not sure what color yet. I'm going to go read through the comment section. But I do feel like uh, this kind of tannish color needs to go. So that leads up to the next question. What do we do with the normal car? The OG, the original, and oh my goodness, they've added rusty bolts to it. I just uh, popped the hood earlier. I didn't even notice this because now you can detach the fenders. Uh, <laughs> you got to change them bad boys out. Oh, I'm still missing stuff down here. I got a lot of junk, but I'm doing my best here. We're cleaning it up. This table needs to be organized. I got a bunch of metal bolts that I need to get out of here. <laughs> we need to fix the truck, but yeah, what would you guys do with this? Obviously, we have the upgraded engine in here, but should we just make it like a street-tuned monster? Uh, by the way, uh, I've been reading some of your guys' settings for ECUs. Uh, we're going to need to redo this one in here. Uh, I've got a couple settings that we're going to do to the new one, but we're not going to change it drastically. It actually handles pretty good, so yeah, we're going to be doing that here today. I feel like I need to maybe make a trip into town here. Oh, I feel bad about Leo that he can't ride in this one. Leo, you're going to have to stay home and hold down the fort. So, yeah, let's go look at our options for paint, bumpers. I don't believe we can paint the doors because it is carbon. So, we might want to maybe match it a little bit. That tint does a really good job, though. I like that. Holy man. All right, close that. Yeah, I just now realized how little miles we have on this thing because of, like, we took it into town once. Uh, we drug it this way, so... Yeah, I really haven't driven this around too much. I just tested it last episode to make sure it handled right, uh, which it handles good. Like, it is a, a really, really nice vehicle. But just is lacking a couple things that we're going to button up here today. And then, uh, like I said, for that other vehicle, let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking maybe like a street-tuned, uh, a ridiculous vehicle. But I know we need to go rip out uh, some of the insides because stuff is just really cattywampus in that thing. So yeah, I don't want to add a whole bunch to this. I do like the really rough and rugged look, but I'm thinking about adding that grill piece. Hold on, let's go in. Yeah, we got options here. What about rear bumpers? Uh, we got this piece. I thought about sticking this in because uh, I feel like maybe it would look kind of good to have that. By the way, isn't it kind of cool that the... O Wait, do we not have many bumpers for this thing? The OEM bumper kind of has what appears to be like a halfway diffuser on the bottom. I kind of thought we had something else. Well, that's fine. All right, so paint. Probably going to go with something a little dark. You know, how about we go with something like bright to offset that carbon? I always like yellow and carbon. Like, I feel like those are two really nice colors together. Oh, man, I forgot Roger had other colors of window tint here. Uh, right now, I think we're rocking the 5%, but, but man, those other tints are nice too. Let's grab a, a yellow and I'll grab another 5 uh, maybe I'll decide to change it back. I feel like the five's nice, but oh, uh, maybe the yellow would look nice. Let's still get one of these remover tools. Uh, have that in there. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to pick up from Rogers. I do want to go ahead and buy one more set of jack stands uh, for the house. So one thing people wanted to see me do, you have the uh, the ramps. Well, actually, they're not ramps. They're the sidings for the bed of the truck, and they say they can be made into ramps. I kind of want to try to, like, Use those to jump something. Is that bad? I feel like my anxiety is not going to survive today's episode. And yeah, we're going to grab this piece. I don't know if this is going to go on. Uh, chunk that in there. I think that should be it. Oh, yeah. I want to get uh, maybe a black. Even though I'm pretty sure I have black at the house. Uh, I want to have black rims on this. I think we're going to have to go with this OEM bumper. Uh, just to have something on the back. I know it's going to add weight to it, but... 
I, I do agree. A lot of people, like, if they complain about something, they're like, yeah, the back looks a little funny, which I do agree. All right, so let's go finish this project car. Uh, that way we can call it a day with it. Uh, it is a nice off-roader. We might go uh, jump it, so stay tuned. Uh, probably going to end very bad, so I'm going to save before I do it because there's a chance that this car is going to end up wrapped around a tree. Probably not necessary to use these jack stands, but I'm going to go ahead and use them anyways because it always looks cool when you're working on the car and you're like on jack stands. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be really cool when we get that lift. That lift is going to be a thing. I am just curious, like I don't picture the lift working in the shop because the lift, I mean, this is not a very tall shop roof. So maybe we're getting another shop. All right, so we got our window tints here. We're going to stick them over to the side. Uh, I could go ahead and I guess remove uh, the tint that we have. <laughs> we just literally put this on. Okay, so we'll put that over there. Let's look at the yellow tint. Where did the yellow tint go? Why do I feel like it fell out? How would it have fallen out? Uh, maybe it's under the seat or something. That's weird. All right, so here, let's stick this on real quick. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right, so we got the bumper piece. This is what I was talking about, sticking this on. Does that... You know, honestly, I don't like it. I like the radiator being more exposed. Like, I just feel like you stick this on, it just looks incomplete. Okay, so we have confirmed. I guess I have an extra one of these pieces. So. <laughs> hey, bumper is on. I am so bothered by the, the tent. Uh, I don't know where it fell out. Like, it definitely went somewhere over here. I feel like it's on the road. Like, uh, there must be, like, a hole. Maybe it's not having the back seat. Like, it's made a hole in the car because I didn't even drive dangerously. Okay, we got our boost gauge. I also think we lost our paints, too. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something going on with the car now that I don't have the rear seat in. That's kind of sucks. I kind of wish we would have... Okay, we're going to stick these back. We got to go back to the gas station. Uh, we got our matte paints. Yeah, I'm not going to paint it until we get there. I think that's the only way to do this. Speaking of, while we have this thing open, let's go ahead and look at our uh, ECU settings. So, a lot of people just want to see me turn the turbo up all the way. That's why our ABS lights are going to turn it on. They're up to 10. Let's turn it down to 1. Uh, the power, I'm not going to mess with that yet. Yeah, we're going to definitely go back uh, because I'm kind of mad and salty about... Oh, I have to probably wait till tomorrow. I imagine Roger's about to be closed. Uh, so, yeah, we finished the build tomorrow, apparently. Oh, yay, it's a nice rainy day that we get to test this out. Okay, uh, be nice and careful with this. Uh, sorry, Leo, you can't come. Let's see, there's a piece of wood. You know what's probably going to happen? Somebody's probably already spotted it in the video, and they're going to be like, Komodo, it was, like, right here. Also, we've adjusted that turbo... Oh my goodness, okay. A little sideways, not too bad. Uh, I don't think that the rain actually affects the road in the game. Actually, somebody can answer that. Does the rain make the road slippery in this game? Or does the grip level change at all? Okay, not gonna lie, it's a little weird that I haven't seen our... Wait a minute. Oh, is that our tent on the road? How did we lose that? Uh, okay, <laughs> we're gonna install our tent in the middle of the road. This is completely fine. Yep, this is it. So that means our yellow paint's out here somewhere. Oh. 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 That's really yellow. I mean, okay. I'm not really sure this is a good color. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. It doesn't look bad from the inside, but geez, it is like super aggressive looking from the outside. Okay. Did I lose my... Where? Okay. This is weird. Hold on. Did... Did my stuff just fall out the bottom? Where are my paint cans? They must have rolled to the back. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be rocking this. Uh, this feels a little weird. Uh, hold on, there's something else on the road. Oh, there's my spray can. There's also a... You know, actually, for anybody that's kept up this series, um, there is a maple jar right here that has been here from almost the first episode. I have purposely left this one on the road. Because I've seen people scream at me about it. They're like, oh, this is another one of the mats. Yeah, people have screamed at me. They're like, Komodo, there's maple syrup on the road. How have you not cleaned that up? And now I just feel like it's a permanent landmark and we should never move it. Okay, we're definitely painting this here. There's a chance that we might do the window tint here. I'll just buy another 5%. I could use the one at the house on one of the other cars. Probably the dumbest thing somebody could do in real life is to spray paint in the rain. But we're about to do that because it doesn't actually matter here. Okay, I gotta admit, not liking the yellow tint with the yellow paint. I think the 5% will be nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, let's get the... Actually, let's do the roof black. There we go. 
Got a nice offset there. All right, let's hit the rims. What about this bumper? Can I... Oh, I can spray paint this. All right, that's looking good right there. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's tint this up. Oh, I got one side. I can't tint. Uh, there we go. By the way, can I spray paint the seat? I feel like I can. Is that not a thing? Kind of wish you could paint the seat. Oh, there it goes. It just took it a moment. There we go. That's... Dude, that looks pretty cool. I can't do anything else here, can I? <laughs> I like I'm just spray painting the inside of my car. That's probably not going to be safe to go back into and sniff. All right. You know what? I'm feeling it now. It finally looks complete. We got the, uh, the turbo where it needs to be set. We need to go home. I've got to save my game because we're going to go do some dangerous stuff in this. But I think I'm officially happy with the build. Like, I don't think we need to do anything else to this car. It could just be used as an awesome little off-roader. We just guess it. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, okay. It's definitely a little more unstable, but it's not bad. Like, you just got to get past that wheel spin a little bit. Oh, we're going to do some dangerous stuff here. I'm going to go look at those, uh, those sidings uh, for the truck, too, to see if that's something I want to mess with. Because uh, potentially we could make a ramp, or we could just go probably launching ourselves through the off-road sections. Uh, of the map because I feel like we'll ramp anyways over there. Here we go. Just go sliding into the house. Oh, oh, oh. did you see the dog run? The dog's probably like, oh, geez. Dad's uh, gone crazy. There we go. All right, let's go pop a save in this bad boy, and then uh, we're going to go for a little bit of a joy ride here. So there she is. I had a little photo shoot with her uh, for a thumbnail for the video. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? Let's just go tear it apart. I looked at the ramps. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Uh, I thought about putting them on the back of the truck, but the vehicle, I don't think, would launch over the back of it. Uh, maybe that is something that we could try. I just I feel like it's a little too wide. Also, there is a chance I might put on a little spacer on this uh, just to have the wheels poke out a little bit. But uh, I think for the most part, we're good here. Let's go ahead and close this. Uh, what do you say we go on a little joyride and probably trash this thing? All right. Here we... Oh, is that the school bus coming behind us? <laughs> you want to race, Mr. School Bus? Uh, I could go. Come on, buddy. Oh, jeez. This might not be a good idea. Uh, you want to race? You think the kids would be impressed? Oh, my goodness. The school bus is running us over. Ooh. Wait, you could push the school bus? Hold on. You could push this off the road? I, f I felt like that was actually working there for a second. Come on, buddy. I'm challenging you to a race. Let's do this. Uh, who drives this bus? Is it one of the characters? I'm trying to... Oh, wait. Dude, I think we can actually force this off the road. Come on. I'm trying to force the... Oh, my... Okay, that might have been karma. Dude, we actually do move it. I'm just seeing if we can move it off the road. Come on. Oh, it was so close. Is it on a set path? Are we manipulating it? We definitely are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is probably not good. Yeah, never challenge a bus to a fight here. Um... Mr. Bus Driver, can you please let off the gas and hit the brakes? Oh, uh, can I put in reverse here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't reverse off this. Hold on. Maybe first gear? Uh, first gear. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. Just get off the bus. Hey, kid. What? Where does he even go? I guess he goes back to school. I guess eventually I'm going to get pushed off this. Um, can I... Can I get out of here? I'd like to get off this ride. Oh my goodness, the bumper is inside of the vehicle. Yep, I have definitely made the wrong choice here today. Moto just wanted to jump his vehicle. Wait, what? Did... Wait, what's wrong with my vehicle? Oh my goodness, I'm out of gas. I haven't filled this thing up since putting some in the can and... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hop out. He's going to give me a ride back to town. Hey, can I have my vehicle back? Is this... Yep. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting that back. Oh, come on. He actually made the corner with it, too? I thought it would for sure drop off there. All right, well, uh, please bring it back at a reasonable time. I'm, I'm going to... guess I'm going to walk home.